Hey, welcome to Movie Explosion. What's up, what's up, what's up, Dan? We watched a rad movie today. Yeah, rad it was great. as fuck. Oh yeah, I think that uh, especially my co-host here would really appreciate it. Well, yeah, it's a. I, I knew it. I don't want to name drop, but I knew oh, come Prince. On. I knew Prince the Dog. Yeah, uh huh. I know. We hear about this like every day. Yeah, yeah. Of course. He, he calls me a name dropper. I say like, you know, Prince the Dog would say this. But he yeah. would though. He would. That's how he talks. That's how yeah. he talks. Okay. So to any of you laymen out there, Prince the Dog Prince starred the dog. in an amazing theatrical release mm. of Dog on a Leash. I can't believe I'm a dog. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> A magic curse. I gotta get help now. One chance to break the spell. Find true love is the only way. So, Life on a Leash starts out with really, really good sound design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by good, I mean none. We got everything that we needed to out of this movie from like six minutes of dead silence, but yeah. like different imagery of like a dog kind of prancing the, around in a and park. And the best voice ever ever? Yeah. Where is everybody? Where are the ladies at? Oh, no girls, no fun, man. No girls, no fun. And then, so he meets this girl who wears green. And yeah, the green purple. chick. Oh yeah, the purple chick too. So it's green and purple. Yeah. The purple's interesting. Check out those guys over there. They're hot. I'm gonna go talk to them. No, not while I'm here. Oh, come on, Lisa. Purple was, yeah. She was super into... Green looked tired. Yeah, green was tired. She was desperate. She was crying for no reason. You know, in the middle of downtown LA. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's kind of weird. Yeah, and she's like, God. please, God, please send me a love. Me, yeah, she prayed to God. And the dog, I guess, needs to find love so he can be human. Well, I don't know what he was before he was a dog. They didn't really establish that. No. I feel like they were setting up like a plot twist. Yeah. Like, it's like you assume that he's a dog, right? I mean, a human before he was a dog. Ooh, but they don't yeah. show it. Maybe he was a cat. He could have been anything. Um, And then, so, Green Girl meets, like, this one guy. And he's yeah. like... I like how you sold that jacket. Nice to meet you. Bam, like, I like him, should I marry him? And another creeper's yeah. like, hey, I watched you put jackets away. And he's like, oh, who should I marry? Yeah, I know, right? And then like the boss was like, you got a spider on your back, I'm gonna it's touch you, don't be scared. Put this dress on, I'm your manager, you have to wear this dress. Yeah. Get changed in hey, the guys, changing room. This was only the first 10 minutes. Yes, I know, right? It was pretty amazing. You need to look good for the customers. I'm the manager, and I insist. I was super captivated by this film. I was just like totally into it. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get wasted and sit through this movie. Mushrooms, whatever it takes. Yeah, if The, the Last Jedi is a zero and Catwoman was a 10, this was an eight. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? Which, Whoa! Wait, what? Hey, movie explosion, bitches. This is Phil Giant. Yeah, we put the giant in film. Yeah, I'm a Phil Giant. Tell me, we're way better than movies than you are. Yeah, when's the last time you saw a movie that had a woman in it? Never? Well, guess what? Women are in movies now. Yeah, we are doing reviews of them way better than a movie explosion. So you said you weren't talking about life on the leash, but guess what? Oh, we're gonna do it right now, ready? Yeah. There's a girl who wears green. Uh-huh. And she needs a dog. Yeah, it's dog. He was like a person or some other kind of thing because he's like, hey, hey, I'm a dog now. He's like, hey, I'm gonna pretend to be her and make her like me. I'm gonna get all dirty and gross and then she's gonna let me in the back of her car and take me home and cut myself shaved. Yeah. Yeah, and like her mom's like, maybe you should marry five guys and I can videotape it. 
Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. I hear that you're dating two guys at the same time. So what? What I mean is, you should date four or five guys at the same time, not just two. Oh, what the hell? What? Ah! Yeah. Dude! You know what? Did we just get served? <laughs> we got served. We just got served in the A! Somebody brought it on. Ugh. Ugh. Well, shit. We can't do that movie. We, already, we, we did. So we. Yeah, they stole our review. So we gotta do you another one now. Yeah. Well, we did watch another movie. Oh, yeah, that's right. We watched uh, Bring It On Worldwide Shocker. Yeah. No, wait, challenge? Uh, the Shocker Challenge. Yeah, Shocker Challenge. Welcome to the SmackDown. Over 20 teams are competing from 12 countries. We're taking them down. Did you not hear them? We're taking on the whole cheer world. Rebel, you've been cheer smack. Do this cheer smack. Cheer smack, SA! We're gonna take you down. There's a better way you could have said that. This movie was, I think, better. I think so too. I thought that there was more sound. Yeah, there was definitely more sound. There were characters. Characters. Um, there were full scenes that Just... if you blink, you didn't miss it. I liked how the movie opened where everybody was like on social media watching the cheerleading because no, that's like zero super setup. important. Zero setup. Like, I know. Now we're cheering like right away. Yeah. There's no way. It was like critical. It was like. It was such an important social thing for people to follow cheering that everybody was constantly watching it. It was like you were getting like um, amber alerts on their phones to yeah. like pull out their phone and watch this cheering contest in like the downtown area. And the hashtags were on the screen. Yeah. Like that was crazy. Oh, they did this like augmented reality thing where it was just like people were on their phone, but it was just like pop out text like flying everywhere. So you could see what they were saying. Yeah. All right. So it's about this one girl, shiny face. Yeah. Shiny face. She was Penta face because I didn't know who she was for like half the movie because it was like every time she changed her hair or outfit, I was like, who is this girl? But then it was the star and I was like, oh, oh yeah. I don't know. So she had like some friends and their cheerleaders. They're the whatever. rebels. The rebels. Yeah, the rebels. And she's the leader of the rebels. And everyone's like, oh, the rebels are cheering in town they square don't, today. They don't represent like a school or anything. No, it's just like, like a separate team. They're like, we're a cheer team based off of not, no school or organization it's just like we're just us yeah we got our own funding we got our own outfits we can yeah. set up these things on these big stages broadcasting internationally huge yeah, screens sure. yeah but like okay so it starts out they're doing a contest or not a contest they're doing a show and then their closed circuit thing gets hacked by the v for, v, v for Velveeta people I kind of flubbed that um, kind of like happened to us ladies We are the truth, and we're here to tell our so-called celebrity destiny and our weak-ass rivals that you have been challenged. If you call yourself champions, or your tired, stale routines won't cut it anymore, and you will be dethroned. Rebels, this is only the beginning. Consider yourself officially cheer smack. <laughs> And like, shit. And everybody's crying. The, leader the whole world's crying. The, the whole, whole world's laughing the at The whole them. world is online at once. Yeah. On the same social media web platform. Yeah. And they're like, oh, rebels, hashtag fuck you. Yeah, they were on the IT website, right? It was oh, IT. Yeah. I, I had IT years Follow ago. me on my IT page. No, I have over a million IT followers. I'm going to post this to show them Neanderthals still exist. Hashtag get a life. Hashtag grow up. Hashtag humiliate. So they gotta like come back. And so Shiny Face is walking on the street and finds these really tough looking dudes. Spray oh, painting, yeah. drinking Ooh, beers or man. root beers or some shit. Yeah. And they're like, what? They really nice we do hair. cheerleaders, that's for fags. Yeah, I you know, right? Say that because it's like a yeah. would be Disney movie. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Fuck that. We're properly make up and combed with perfect clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you think silly girl? We're not gonna chair with you. No way. We're super masculine. Shiny face in the head of the Jets is like, yeah. They're like, I like you. Oh no, just kidding. I hate you. And then like they make out once. You see, in the real world, we handle our battles on social media. 
So get ready to use up all your data, because my plan's unlimited. There's lots of scenes where people go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They just kind of talk at yeah. each other. And there's lots of, like, I mean, Skyping. I drank the whole time, so I don't really know most of what happened. I remember, like, images of the beginning and then the end, because I, I started food. to sober up. Yeah, we took a break. We ate couscous. <laughs> yeah. And spicy bean, like, burgers. burgers. Yeah, they're like, they're like good. Veggie burgers. Like, he tries to pull the team back together, and it's all coming apart. Yeah. And then she finds out that uh. the blonde girl is the head oh, of truth and shit. a bunch of the rebels are in truth mm. my mom and dad thought that i was a girl you lost your virginity before your dad <laughs> yeah and oprah was in it yeah so oprah shows up and she's like i'm the cheer queen <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah she was the cheer queen she looked like um what did i say earlier the black dixie lady shit Dolly Parton. Yeah. Like her face looked all jacked up from plastic surgery. Yeah. So like you know that she was like a hundred. She's like she was trying to act like she was like into cheering. Like, oh cheerers, guess what? Guess who's gonna cheer? Tomorrow is gonna be the rebels. And it's like yeah. they had the big cheer off and there's like people online from all over the world. And mm -hmm. like, oh here's Brazil dancing. Dun, 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 dun. Here's Ireland. Dun, 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 dun. Here's Uganda. Blah 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 blah. Everyone dances. Yeah. And then the truth does, and it's intense. It's like a magic show. Yeah, magic show. It was so much like that. It was like the guy like in the 90s where he's like, I'm going to wear this mask and reveal all the oh, magic yeah. secrets. I face you tonight because of my love for magic. And to tell you why I chose to reveal these age-old secrets. So they did it. They all texted in their votes, and it was like, guess who won? Ho! But it has to be all nice still. And Shiny Face is like, well, look, at, she's doing a good job at least. Yeah. I can't be mean to somebody. Yeah. She's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. So it was like, who's the bad guy in this movie? <sighs> Nobody. Jealousy. Yes. Jealousy. The bad guy was a figurative manifestation oh. of jealousy oh. and being controlling okay. and being a shitty friend. Shitty friends. Get out of here, bro. Come on. Come on. What is this, Gay the Musical? A gay musical called Gay. That's quite gay. Gay musical. Aren't all musicals gay? God. Watch IT crowd. <laughs>